If you haven't already, you should use the very first money you save to establish a sound financial lifestyle before investing for the future. This will be our checklist. Hopefully you are saving money from every paycheck. If you are not saving 15%, save whatever you can. Start from wherever you are. Some people start with a level they can save monthly and pledge to increase that level with future salary increases until they reach their saving goals. Choose something that will work for you. The most important thing is to start. The technique of paying yourself first has proven to work for millions. It's our human nature that we don't miss it if we don't see it. It's easier to save if you eliminate fees. Have you ever accidentally written checks for more than is in your checking account? At my bank, they charge $35 per check overdraft. Here are two overdrafts I made the same day, followed by another $35 fee for the account remaining overdrawn for more than five days. Don't let this happen to you. Here's a tip that can help. Use the very first money you save to raise your checkbook balance. Maybe so it never goes below $1,000. But it is a buffer. It is not for spending. It's simply insurance against overdraft fees. Here's another tip. Whenever you get assessed a fee from anybody, bank, credit card, whatever, always call them and plead your case. These overdrafts are real, but I called and they reversed them. Some banks won't do this unless you specifically ask them to waive the fees. It usually works if you don't abuse it, so always call and ask. Also, pay off all bad debt before you start investing for the future. One of my first videos was about the miracle of compound interest, but penalty fees and expensive interest rates cause this amazing miracle to work against you instead of for you. A typical credit card purchase takes 10 to 20 years to pay off if you only pay the minimum monthly payment. Worse, if you miss a payment on any other loan or credit card, your interest rate will jump from something like 18% to something like 29% and every two or three years, you'll owe twice as much. Fees and expensive interest rates are like leaks to your precious savings and steal from your tomorrow. You must stop these leaks. Always pay your credit card balance on time and in full. This is the most common example of bad debt. The interest rates are very high, so avoid them by paying the total amount due and on time. Even with the speed of the internet, banks sometimes require a surprising three to five business days to complete these payments. So don't cut it close, stay a week ahead. Student loans and home mortgages might, not necessarily, but might be examples of good debt. But recall that servicing these loans must fit into your budget. As you know, stuff happens. Remember in an earlier video, I suggested three questions to help you identify those must or foundation expenses. You will need money to pay for those if you were to lose your job. That's why many advisors recommend a six month reserve. A money market is perfect for this. Figure out what's right for you, but do something. Buy the insurance you need. Most need health, auto, homeowners, or renter's insurance. Buy life insurance only if you have dependents. These might be the types of insurance you might want to buy. There are other types of insurance that you are sold. You are almost always better off buying term life insurance than paying more for whole, universal, or variable life insurance products, which combine insurance with some investment attributes. Then, invest or pay off your mortgage with the difference. With all that in place, you can now safely begin investing your savings towards your big ticket items in retirement. Find other explanatory videos, smart tips, and links to useful resources at financinglife.org.